Hey everybody, greetings from Rooster Hill Farm. Um, I just cleaned out the bedding from the baby chicks from our brooder. Um, so it's pretty empty. If you saw the last video, it did have a little divider right here. Um, we put that in just so um, sometimes chicks are curious and um, if we needed to shrink the space that they were allowed to be in, that way they wouldn't stray too far away from the heat lamp, then that was the point of that divider. But they are doing great um, and they're bigger now. They're almost two weeks. They'll be two weeks old on Monday. So um, they are old enough to have this whole brooder to kind of explore. Um, so I'm gonna set you up here and put down some fresh uh, wood shavings for them and just let you watch them explore and kind of spread those out on their own. Because um, right now, who doesn't need a uh, couple fluffy chicks to brighten your day? Um, to clean this out, in case you're wondering, I use an old paintbrush. And then this, I, my husband have to, it's a piece of metal. I feel like it's, uh, I don't know what it's called, flashing? maybe flashing. It like goes under your shingles, between your shingles and your roof. I don't know. I don't know where we found it. I don't know if he had it, but it's like the perfect like scoop. The scoop. Oh, can you see that? Yep. And then pick it up. It's empty because it's cleaned out. So that's what we use. Real easy, simple thing. Um, so I'm just gonna let you enjoy these little peepers while I put in some bedding here. Let me get you hooked up so you can see them. Let's see where the best place is. I'm going to I'm going to raise you up a little bit. what they do. So for this part, for when putting a bedding in, I'm going to take out their food and their water. It needs changed anyway. So instead of food, there's actually some in this feeder that I'm just going to spread out on the floor.
can really see him going to work there. So as you can see, let me take you off of here. This right here is where I sprinkled all that food and they've already scratched all that bedding off of it so they could find that food underneath. Even um, baby chicks, um, it's just their instinct to scratch and look for food. So to give them that opportunity even as little baby fluffy chicks is great for them um, to keep those natural instincts strong. I wanna show you if I can without stressing anybody too much. I mean, they're really, if you can, if you have chicks at home or you're thinking about getting chicks, just give them the opportunity. I mean, this is like um, animal enrichment at its finest. You know, you might think, Oh yeah, I'm gonna spread out fresh bedding for them. Just leave it in clumps, let them do the work for you because they love it. So I'd like to show you each one of each of the three breeds of chickens that we got. Everybody's so fast. And as you can see, I don't know if you saw, but um, everybody's trying to figure out how their wings work. So here, is so cute. He, this is a buff Orpington hen. Um, that's what our rooster is now, uh, our grown rooster, Chris. If you follow our Instagram page, you might know Chris. Um, they're sweet. They are known for their sweet personality. If chicken has a sweet personality, if that's really a thing, buff Orpingtons are known for them. Um, this is just a little fuzzy girl. But already she's getting like, so, uh, I don't think she'll let you see. Okay, all right, loud. And I don't, I mean, they are known for their sweet personality here. But in here, in these, in this group of chickens, um, we have a couple bosses already kind of making their personality known and they are both Orpington. So that'll be interesting to see. Let's see, what else do we have here? Um, oh. Come here. Hold on. Let me move some stuff out of the way. Okay. Here we go. This sweet little girl. Look at her eyes. Aren't they pretty? Uh, black Australort. So you can see she's already got some feathers growing in on her wings and losing her down. Um, she's got beautiful black and like some white feathers underneath. So those are really pretty. So black Australorps, um, we also have this. Oh, you're showing them her, your wing? That's so pretty, but I don't want you to be like that. So I'm going to put you down. Um, 
It's also a breed that we already have in our grown flock. Um, so we decided to go with him again. Plus this is the breed, the Australorp is the breed that they, um, Meyer Hatchery gave us an extra bird of. So we actually got 17 of those. And then finally for our last breed, this little, mm -hmm. the cutest of all in my opinion, at least at the beginning. Um, this is the Rhode Island Red, super fuzzy, um, but really pretty wings, I don't know. Yeah, those wings are so pretty. Um, so they are a known grazer, free ranger bird, um, egg layer, the Rhode Island Red. We also have this breed in our grown flock. So all three um, breeds we are familiar with. You're quiet. You wanna get back in? Nothing to say. And she's off. Um, so thanks for hanging out with our chicks today. Um, stay safe. And we wish everybody the best. And we can get, we can do it. We can do it. Whatever, whatever um, situation your state is in or your um, city is in or your country is in, wherever you're watching us from, you can do it. So. Just watching. Sorry. Um, we wish you well. Thanks for tuning in. And we'll see you next time.